Hey guys, welcome back. Another episode on the 67 GTO, as you can see it here behind me. I think where we last left off, made a funny little video about pulling out the headliner with the car upside down. It does make things easy, but most people aren't gonna be able to do that. I just thought it'd be kind of funny to do that. You saw all the stuff in there in that video, so yeah, that would be on your head, in your ears, your eyes, it'd be all over you. But anyway, what I've done is I've removed some of the structure on the inside of the right hand kick panel. I found more stuff and like I always say if I uncover it I have to fix it so unfortunately there's going to be even more repair work but it's a good thing we found it because the money's going into this car and we want to try to fix everything that we see. You can't see everything in a perfect world the best thing to do would be to have the whole car dipped once all the metal work's done because then it would eliminate any other surface rust any other scaling but a lot of times budget does not permit that. So we're gonna try to fix this so it's sound, so it's clean, so that they won't have to worry about these areas in the future. What we have, and let me push this up here real quick. You can see, if you remember my bracing, I added an additional brace. And the reason I did that was I made a test cut right here. You can see the slice I made, and I went completely through the rocker panel. And it did slightly move. It was, it was very minute. It only moved about a sixteenth of an inch. But I wanted to keep it movement to even less than that. Sixty-fourth, no more than a thirty-second. So I welded this brace. It repositioned everything, welded this brace in, and it worked. So we've got this thing locked in position. I have changed my process. I am going to do this a little differently. And again, it's because I don't want things moving around. The way this is gonna work, I'm gonna repair the kick panel on the right-hand side here. Then I'm going to re replace the outer rocker. And at that point, I've, I've tied this whole side back together again. So now we won't have any, any possible movement here. And then I can go on to the other side. And then once both sides are done, the floor is literally just gonna about fall out because there won't be anything left holding it. And we'll swap a new floor in it. But let me get around here. I'm going to show you what we found. I'll move the car first. We'll show you what's inside. And this is kind of normal. We'll get the car up here. You look inside here. This is inside that kick panel. That is a pretty heavy brace. That's some pretty thick steel there. And you can see it's completely rotted. So it's a good thing that we're cutting this apart because this is a structural area and that is no good to leave it. We bend down. You look top of the rocker doesn't look too bad but if you look at the rocker as we go down we've got rust starting and I'm pretty certain these areas on the inside are gonna have pitting and since we had to cut this all out up front here to do this repair it just makes sense to replace the rocker what we have is here is the inside we'll put the light down this is inside the kick panel area. Yes, I had to cut the dashboard out. And I had to cut the dashboard out to be able to get in here because of all the rust in the areas that I had to get to. The dashboard would have been in the way. I would not have been able to get to it. And also, this edge on these GTOs and the Chevelles and all the A-bodies of this era, this whole edge, as you can see, is rotted. That's the lower windshield edge. This is a portion of the cowl. Well, that is part of the dashboard, and I have to replace that. They do not sell a dashboard. They just sell a piece. So it made sense just to cut it off. We're going to fix this, fix the dash. But back to what we were talking about, if you look down inside here, as long as the camera stays focused, you can see I even uncovered rust on the bracing once it focuses. That is a brace for the lower hinge and you can see it's got some holes in it we have to fix that you can see down in here we've got some rust down in there we're gonna have to fix a lot of this before we close this back up the reason for that is this is a structural area I have to get all this cleaned and fixed and put this piece on here all here has to go back on and then we can get the rocker out but we can't leave this pitting in here. We just can't leave that stuff in there. It's all got to go. I've got to clean this off here. Hopefully we can save this. I found some more rot 
down here on the outer piece. We're going to have to get to that. But all this was caused by being filled with seat stuffing, mouse piss, and it just got wet. And it got wet because right here, you can see there's a hole there. This is at the base of the windshield. And if you follow it, you can actually see where the water came down and it ran here. You follow down, you can see all the lines coming down. That water just kept running down in here, ran down, got into that seat stuffing, and it never dried. So we got a big repair here. This is gonna be a lot of time. Time is money. It is what it is, but it's gotta be fixed right. Same thing I'm certain is gonna be found on the other side. Maybe it won't be as bad. What I'll end up doing is I'll take this brace out of this side when I'm done over here. And we'll transfer it to the other side, do the same thing, and then do the floor. Hopefully at that point, we are done with the rust on the main body. We just fixed the stash area. And then we can get on to body work and paint. But that remains to be seen. We shall see what happens. On these A-body cars of this era, this, this piece that goes on here is removable. And I'm glad I took it off because as you can see here, we've got to clean all this out. If I would have left that piece on there, this would have been living underneath a very expensive restoration. I wouldn't want it, would you? We'll get this thing done. We'll get onto the other side. We'll show you some more stuff. If I find it, the new pieces are on the floor. I'll show you the test fitting on them. I'll show you real quick if you, if you glance down at the floor right there. All that junk on the floor is what came out of just this side of the cow. So you can see this stuff is not cheap to do. It takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of thinking. You gotta be careful with this, and if it's over your head, just hire a professional. But as always, like, subscribe, questions, comments, you name it. Stay tuned.